Welcome to the brand new episode of our Tech Talk. In this episode, I take you out on a little adventure with some of the world's all-time leading life utility vehicles. So get ready, buckle up, and let's hit the road. So if you have a large family, either of these minibus vehicles could be ideal to own for your vacations or everyday errands. The Caravel has a full consumption rating of 28 miles per gallon slash 8.4 liters per 100 kilometers, just about six units more than a normal sports sedan. Speaking of the ability to run everyday errands with the Caravel, there are some very great drive assistance features, namely park assist, trailer assist, lane change assist, hill hold assist, crosswind assist, and tire pressure monitoring. So crosswind assist detects track offset caused by strong winds thus helping the driver remain on their lane. More on safety technology is the diversion from hydraulic to electromechanical power steering tech. This feature allows the transmission of steering commands to the wheel more directly. It makes the Caravel 6.1 more agile. The Caravel consists of an electronically controlled multi-plate clutch on the rear which automatically adjust the power transmission to your current driving conditions. Get into the interior. The high resolution 10.25 inch LED display comprising of an InfoTouch display and its public colors. The Caravel 6.1 is equipped too with a Wii Connect Go Mobile online services. So firstly you have to download it on your smartphone then that will enable you to access features such as my Volkswagen and trip monitor. This is the first VW commercial vehicle to come with a digital cockpit. It looks all contemporary. In the boot you find a cargo protector. One can always adjust the leather rear seats by sliding them either forward or backwards, thus creating more space if slided forward or more leg room if slided backwards. It is in your preference for what you use the vehicle for. You have the option to arrange the seats to create a more boardroom environment. Amazing leather seats obviously come as standard because it's an executive model. Very helpful especially when the little ones decide to spill those fizzy drinks. The Caravel further exhibits some other luxury features that you would not find in the Kombi such as charging ports and cup holders. The exterior design is updated featuring new LED lights, sharper edged headlamps and an updated glow. It's also available in 17 inch three wheel designs with the Woodstock Black Diamond as standard and the other two as optional. So question is how fast can we get to our vacation destination? Well we have a 2 litre 4 cylinder engine partnered with a 7 speed DSG transmission. 0 to 60 miles per hour can be achieved by the Caravel in 10.3 seconds. The Caravel consists of 146 kilowatts and 450 newton meters of torque. One on a given day can decide whether to drive on comfort, eco or sport mode. According to people that have tested the Caravel, they described it to be too harsh already by just putting it on comfort and questioned the necessity of even having the sport mode feature. The Caravel is available in a total of 20 colors, where seven are two-tone color designs. Let's get into the most uncomfortable part of the video where I reveal the price tag. Well, first, it is not so easy to own a high-end vehicle, especially when you're in South Africa. In dollars, the price tag is approximately $63,000. In rands, it is 1.2 million rand, which makes it have a good competitive advantage against the Vienna with a minimum price tag of 2 million rand. And I can guarantee pretty much what is in the Vienna is definitely in the Caravel, but let's save the Vienna for upcoming videos. This now brings us into the main rival of the Caravel, the Hyundai Staria. The Staria is Hyundai's exhibition of its future design language for its life utility vehicles. Hyundai prepares its audience for the future with its futuristic design language. Well, it's just them letting us know that we are in the future. This is the era that was spoken about. The Staria obviously is a success of the H1. The Staria comprises of delicate, smooth, clean surfaces from the front all the way to the rear. Its key signature in the front is the reimagined headlamps. So instead of the traditional headlamps, they instead use the state-of-the-art LED technology. The Staria is available as a 9 or 11 seater. The seats are available in different artificial leather interior trims, which are namely Napa leather and suede upholstery. The seats can rotate up to 180 degrees, which enables a boardroom environment, same way as observed earlier in the Caravel. Same as in the Caravel, connection ports are located throughout its windows are slightly larger than many other life utility vehicles. This gives you more freedom of appreciating the journey. The Staria also features one of the slightly largest windshields in the life utility vehicle segments. Getting to engine specs, the Staria is available only in a 2.2 liter four cylinder diesel engine partnered with an eight speed automatic transmission, two wheel drive producing 130 kilowatts at 3,800 RPM. Its full economy rating stands at 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers Sadly, all models 
up to its luxury bus model comprises of the same performance specs. This is quite a heavy punishment for the extra bucks that one needs to cough out for every range model. What is tweaked though throughout the range models are very tangible luxury features of course. Staria's high-end model, known as the luxury bus, features more delicate finishes, an executive experience, a 25-inch cinematic experience, higher roof elevation which creates more feeling of freedom inside the vehicle. Convenience features include standard cruise control, an infotainment system which should accommodate both Android and your Apple phone, automatic climate control, park assist which includes front and rear park camera, automatic opening doors and wireless charging. Safety features include driver and passenger airbags, blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, emergency braking and safe exit feature. Entry level price tag is $829,900 slash $50,000. Its luxury bus model comes at a price tag of $1.5 one million rand slash sixty four thousand dollars while we wrap up the Staria promises to have its upcoming models incorporated with hydrogen fuel technology just be on the lookout for more well between the models of course there are many other fixed and variable features that can be further spoken about but now looking at the performance the luxury and price tag of both models the Staria may win the hearts of many Thanks for watching, you gave me purpose. If you're new, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on anything right here on your Auto Tech Talk. Cheers, God bless.